How many calls like this do you guys get? Because I get way too many. <sighs> anyway. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this really interesting product. It is the Black Onyx Primer by Makeup Revolution. It is a black gel primer. As you can see, it is black. And um, I wanted to try it out because... It just seemed really interesting, so yeah, if you want to know my thoughts on this and kind of see how it works and what it looks like, then just keep on watching. <sighs> I'm hot. Okay. It is hot here in Jersey. It is, what's the temperature right now? It is currently 60 degrees in February, which is unheard of, and last week it was in the negatives, so... To go from that to 60, it legit feels like a hot summer day. <sighs> okay, let's get started. So today we are going to be testing out this Makeup Revolution Black Onyx Primer. It is a blurring and mattifying black gel primer. I saw this on Ulta and I just had to order it because it just really intrigued me. Like, I was like, is it going to blend out to clear? Like, how... Why is it black? Like, I, I don't know. But, um, I guess we're gonna try it out. It just seemed really interesting. So, it says this primer with a black gel-like texture blends clear for a blurred and mattified base. So, yeah, I'm not really sure why it's black. Maybe it has, like, charcoal in it or something. I, doesn't that help with, like, mattifying? I think it does. So, we'll try it out. I like anything blurring and mattifying, so yeah, let's just get started. So right off the bat, it does seem kind of thick, like just taking it out of the packaging, like it's not really coming out of the dropper super easily, so I don't know. I guess let's try it. I'm going to load up the dropper. I'm just going to squeeze it a couple times while it's in here. Let me test it out. Okay. And let's try it out. I also want to get a thumbnail, so <laughs> I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit. So it didn't tell me like how much to put on, so I'm just going to like mix it up. Oh my god, this looks this is weird. This is really weird. Okay. By the way, after I test out this primer, I am going to be doing a full face of all... Oh my god, I just realized I never put on moisturizer. Well, too late now. Okay, so I'm just going to start blending this out. Um, so it is blending out clear. So this is blending out clear. Um, so that's good. It's not filling in pores, I noticed that. I still see my pores, so... Yeah. But I am going to bring it underneath my eyes a little bit just to smooth out that area and then, of course, on my nose. Um, so I'm not going to lie, my skin does feel nice and soft. I did not put on moisturizer. I only had on a hydrating serum. I meant to put on this e.l.f. Hello Hydration Facial Cream. I have been using this the last couple days and I actually really do like it, especially since it is so inexpensive. Um, it actually works really well. Um, but I forgot to do that and I just went right in with the primer and I thought maybe I would feel really dry since it is a blurring and mattifying primer and I had no moisturizer underneath. However, I feel like it actually, like my skin feels good, like it feels definitely feels smooth but it doesn't feel like overly mattified it actually feels pretty hydrated which is weird um, so I'm just gonna go in with the foundation and kind of 
see how it looks once I apply foundation because I'm not going to really know if the primer works until I have my face products on. Um, but yeah, let's just go in. So I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation in F8. And I'm also going to be mixing in a little bit of the LA Girl um, Foundation Lightener because this foundation is a tad too dark for me right now, so I'm gonna mix the two together. I do like this foundation a lot though. Um, I've been using it a lot. So if you haven't seen my foundation review on the L'Oreal foundation, you need to go check it out. Um, at first I wasn't loving it, but I have to say I've been wearing it a lot since I made that video and I'm obsessed with it. It is really good. The longer it sits on your skin, the better it looks. And that's why I wasn't in love with it when I first applied it because I was just like, okay, it looks okay. But no, the more it sits on your skin, the better it looks. So just want to throw that in there. But I'm just going to mix these two um, foundations up. And I'm just going to take a little bit more of it and apply it on my cheeks, my chin, and my forehead. I'm going to use this foundation brush just to blend it in by Morphe. It is the JH03. It is from the Jaclyn Hill collection. So I like to push my foundation in. Um, I just find that by pushing it in, I get the most coverage out of it rather than swiping because when you swipe, you just kind of swipe the product off. I'm actually going to put a, just a tad bit more on just because I feel like I just need a little bit more coverage in this area but I have to say I don't know if it's the foundation or the primer but my skin is actually looking really good and smooth so that is a good thing. Alright, so I have to say my foundation so far is actually looking really smooth and my skin looks awesome. Um, I don't know if it's the primer or the combination of the two. These are both by Makeup Revolution, the brand, so maybe they just work really well together. Um, so I'm, I'm liking this so far. Um, like, my skin looks really good. I'm actually going to zoom you in a little bit so you can see. Like you can see my skin, it like it looks it looks good. I'm going to go in with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer. This is in the shade Vanilla. I'm going to let this kind of sit there for a second. Um, I actually am going to blend out in between my brows, but I'm going to let everywhere else kind of just sit there for a second or two. I really do like this concealer. I featured it in my L'Oreal video where I did my first impressions and I've been using it a lot ever since as well. 
Um, I like it more when I let it sit and kind of get a little bit tacky. I, I like the coverage better, but it looks super smooth underneath the eyes. So this is a great drugstore option. So I decided I'm going to add one more little layer because I just want a little extra coverage. Um, so I'm just going to apply a little bit more. Okay, so now we're going to move on to powder. I'm going to be using the RCMA No Color Powder. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my palette. I usually just dunk out a little bit and then by the way this is the worst packaging like who thought that it would be cool to put a powder in like basically like a salt shaker I don't I don't know <laughs> but anyways I'm gonna use this to set my under eye area so I just like to dip my sponge directly into the powder I do want to make sure that the concealer didn't um, settle and then I'm just going to press this underneath my eyes. So I'm kind of pressing it in until it disappears, but I am going to take a little brush and just kind of make sure that there's no excess powder sitting on top of the skin. And now I'm going to try out these Maybelline Fit Me powders. Um, I have not tried the loose powders. These are the loose ones, so I have light and medium. So this is what they look like. I'm just going to, I think I'm going to try out light. <laughs> I'm pretty fair right now, and honestly, light is not that light. Um, like, to me, that doesn't seem that light, but whatever. We're going to try it out, so... I'm just going to use a big brush like this. This is by um, BH Cosmetics. It's from their Marble Luxe Collection or something like that. And I'm just going to take what's in the cap. And yeah, let's just see. I'm just going to set my whole poof with this. Hmm. Actually, it looks quite, quite nice. So I'm just going to take a little bit more and just dust it all over my face on the nose. I do like to kind of pat. I like it. I like it. Um, I'm still going to try it out a little bit more, but I'm liking this so far. Okay, so now we're gonna bronze up the skin. I'm gonna use this Physician's Formula BB Bronze. Um, this is the bron Glow Boosting BB Balm Bronzer. It says Bronze Booster in medium to dark SPF 20. So I'm just gonna take my brush. I'm gonna load up quite a bit of this because I wanna be bronzed. I'm feeling very pale right now, so. I need to bronze my skin up. So again, I'm using one of the brushes from the Jaclyn Hill collection. Um, this is the JH02. So I'm just gonna use this to bronze up my skin. I'm not being super precise with this because I'm not contouring with this. I'm just bronzing. So there's a difference between contouring and bronzing. Of course you want to get, you know, the tip of your nose, your forehead, you know, chin, cheeks, all the areas that the sun would naturally hit. And now we're going to take this BH Cosmetics contouring kit. 
and this is what it looks like and I'm going to take um, a mixture of these two shades. This is more of a cool tone shade, this is much warmer and I'm going to use this to contour. So I'm just going to take this brush, um, the JH05, sorry I keep using these brushes but I've really been liking them. So I'm just going to mix those two colors together. So since I have some leftover pal powder on my palette, I'm going to bake with that right here. I'm just going to basically clean up my contour line. So I'm not going to lie, you guys, this primer. I don't know what's a primer. I don't know if it's a combination, but my skin looks really smooth and this says it's a blurring and mattifying primer. My skin does look matte, but it definitely looks smooth as well. So I don't know, um, but maybe this stuff is legit. <laughs> maybe it works really well. Um, obviously I'm going to keep trying it out and yeah, maybe I'll update you guys on Instagram. Now I'm going to take some blush by e.l.f. I'm going to use this shade here. Um, I like to use more warm RNG blushes. I just feel like they are very flattering on my skin tone. So I just like to take some on my brush and then I kind of pat it on the back of my hands because it is kind of powdery. So I feel like sometimes when I go directly from the palette to my face, it can be a little messy, so I like to knock some of the excess off. So, um, I just used the JH04 looking nice and blushed. Now I'm going to take this brush and just kind of knock off the um, translucent powder we had. So I'm going to be using the Milani Make It Last um, Facial Spray and this is just a prime, correct, and set spray. So I'm going to um, spray this. I, I'm blocking off my eyes, by the way, because I don't want it to really disrupt my brows and lash extensions, so. Now I'm also going to spray my brush because we're going to be applying highlighter. And I'm going to be using this Makeup Forever, I mean not Makeup Forever, Makeup Revolution Highlighting Palette. And we are going to be using this shade here. And yeah, I'm just going to load up my brush with it. And we're just going to apply this on my face. It actually looks really nice and I like it. So again, spraying my handy dandy brush and now we're going to do the other side. Honestly, this is a really pretty highlighter. Um, so I really would only use probably this shade um, but I feel like these two would be great blush toppers and this one is going to be great in the summer to like bronze up my shoulders and stuff so yeah and it was a really inexpensive palette so that's always good but yeah I'm just applying it on my cupid's bow and then I'm going to go right down my nose 
Alright, so that's it for the face. I'm going to finish up my makeup and I'll be right back to kind of let you guys know what I'm thinking of this primer and kind of all these products together. Alright you guys, so that is it for today's video. So my overall thoughts of this primer and just like all these products together is that my face looks pretty good. It looks pretty smooth. It's matte but it's not like a drying matte. Um, I don't know if I can give all the credit to this primer, but my skin looks smooth and it is a blurring primer. Um, I will say this foundation, I feel like whenever I do use this foundation, my skin looks pretty smooth. So I think both of these products together make like a really nice pair. Um, and for all of the products being inexpensive, my skin looks really good. You don't need to spend a ton of money, you don't need to have all high-end products to have good looking skin and to have a flawless foundation and base um, to your makeup. You know, there's so many great drugstore products out. So yeah, my overall thoughts is this is a really interesting product, but I definitely am going to continue to use it. Um, it is a little weird to be putting like a black product on your face because um, it's actually like it's really dark and really opaque but it does blend out clear um, and like I said my skin it felt really smooth but it didn't feel dr like dried out or anything since this is mattifying it actually felt pretty hydrating so um, I don't know if it's so much mattifying as it is blurring but um, yeah, I think it's a cool product. I definitely suggest you guys checking it out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.